Hello, we're going to walk through in this video an example of an enzyme catalyzing a reaction. We'll look at chymotrypsin catalyzing the hydrolysis of an amide in a peptide. During this reaction, we'll see how the enzyme utilizes some different catalytic strategies that you've already covered. Proximity, that's the being in the active site, reducing the degrees of freedom, acid-base catalysis, group transfer, distortion of the starting material so it looks more like the intermediate or transition state, and stabilization through intermolecular forces of the transition state. So we'll just walk through the mechanism and see a whole cycle. In this reaction, it's starting up at this site. Um, here's your substrate. This is a protein, and we want to cleave this amide bond, which is not very electrophilic, remember. So if this is, moves into the active site, so here it is in the active site, and here's the catalytic triad. So this aspartate grabs that proton. These electrons go here. These go over here to grab that proton. We've now made the OH minus negative, so we've made serine and alkoxide, and this attacks because it'll be lined up. It may not be in my per picture perfectly, but it'll be lined up and we'll break the pi bond. So over here you see the serine is now attached. So this is a temporary covalent bond and we have a tetrahedral intermediate. There's probably, and it's not showing you here, something binding to this. Some high, in fact, I'm sure there are a couple of, from this um, um, active site, there are some hydrogens that are making an ion dipole interaction to stabilize that formed alkoxide there. So then in this stage, this is a pi donation and we need to kick off the nitrogen because this is the bond we're cleaving back here. Remember, we want to cleave this bond. So this is our leaving group, but it does not want to have that positive charge. So it, we're going to see a reverse of this catalytic triad. And then the advantage of this is that we've regenerated down here our catalytic triad with the aspartate with the minus, the histidine in its original protonation state. And now we've kicked off this leaving group and we've formed an ester to the serine. So this now on our hill, if we were to go back and look, remember our amide is down here, very not electrophilic. But the ester is in the middle of the hill. And so this is more electrophilic than the amide. And now we're gonna bring in the water to do the hydrolysis. So we'll, this goes through the general acid base catalysis with that uh, catalytic triad again, where we transfer those electrons through that system, cascade, and now the water is the nucleophile, but it's really hydroxide. And here's your NHs stabilizing the forming of that O minus. So we have the IMF stabilization of this tetrahedral intermediate and in here. So we have the IMF stabilization and these NHs are already pulling on it before the carbonyl reacts. And so we actually have here the distortion and the IMF stabilization. We have the acid base catalysis here, we're forming a better base. We have the proximity of having the amide in here reducing the degrees of freedom. And then we've done the group transfer. We transferred from an amide to an ester so that's more reactive. Now our hydroxide, and we're going through this again, forms a new tetrahedral intermediate. And we do our pi donation, and we kick off the serine 
which goes back and we do that reverse of the catalytic triad again to regenerate the starting protonation state of the active site. So we've regenerated our catalyst. And you've seen all five strategies in play in this one mechanism. So I would suggest you go make sure you can do the different um, um, steps, do these mechanisms. This is nucleophilic substitution. There's several more examples in the workbook and the online text. And there are you, examples through there of these different strategies.